My philosophy on code is that you shouldn't have comments because that means uh, you're writing the code twice, once for the programmer and then once for the programmer, really. Because we, if you look at your code, like this is just some output from a beam file, no programmer is going to be able to read that. That's just for the computer. So why do we keep the source? Well, so we can go back and read it in sort of, not English, but so that a programmer can read it. So if I'm going to write the code and then write a comment, I'm writing the code to the programmer twice. So why not just write it in a way that's going to be tested and um, checked and, 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 you know, it's going to be compiled and it's going to be, it's going to be, um, you know, accurate. So I don't like to have comments, but I do like to have commit comments. So if we look at um, uh, if we look at a commit, I like to have a, a comment in a concise commit. So even if I have a large chain set, I'll break change set. I'll break that up into smaller commits and have a commit a comment that says why I was doing that change. The diff will tell me what changed. My comment will say why it changed. And that way, my comment can't get stale because it's time stamped. I know that anything that comes after that in may in invalidate that comment. But even that's not enough. Even if I write expressive code and I have a, a commit comment that ties together a bunch of files, a bunch of changes in a bunch of files that are specific to one sort of um, cohesive change set, even then sometimes I don't have the context that I need um, or would like to find out why I made that change or what was going on when I made that change. So I'm hoping that a video will not only help me, but will then even help people who are are having a look at this where they can say, you know, they, they know that well, if I don't understand the code, or I, I don't, uh, or the commit comments not enough, there's always a video I can go watch that where the author will explain what changed. So, just an experiment. We'll see how it goes and uh, see how long I keep it up. Probably not long, but uh, hopefully it's helpful to me and hopefully it's helpful to others.